time that I tell people that I've been here for almost half a year now, I've been here for five months, they ask me if I miss anything from Switzerland or if I miss my friends and family. So I decided that I was gonna make a video about it because people seem to want to know. I've categorized this thing into like five subcategories. So we've got the subcategory food, friends, weather, local, and animals. In terms of food, I'm not really missing a lot. I was only able to come up with four things. I was only able to come up with five things. Food-wise, the number one thing that I miss from Switzerland is cheese. Affordable cheese. I'm not saying cheese in Switzerland is cheap. I'm saying it's more affordable than here. If you want to grab yourself a slice of Gruyere, 200 grams, it costs you Manon. Manon is 10,000, which translates to too much money in my opinion. For 200 grams of Gruyere cheese, you can't really make a lot of dishes, especially the kinds that my grandmother or my mother like to make. You know, like there's so many other good foods here in Korea that I don't really miss it that much but when I did buy it for my birthday which was in August I started to miss all of the foods that I could make with Gruyere I just kind of missed having that option it's not like I was buying cheese every single week in Switzerland I miss the option to be able to buy cheese looking at the prices of cheese now here in Korea it kind of just makes me sad and feel well yeah it makes me feel sad so to list a couple of cheeses that I miss, most of all, I miss Gruyere cheese. They have it here, they have it at Home Plus, which is like mind-blowing to me because that's my favorite cheese, but it's so expensive. Another cheese that I miss is Appenzeller. I also miss Schafer Max, which translates to Spicy Max. Not sure where that cheese is from, probably Switzerland. Another cheese I miss, weirdly enough, mozzarella cheese, and I'm talking about like the Buffalo mozzarella cheese. I never really bought that in Switzerland, but I miss the taste of it. They do put mozzarella on stuff here in Korea, but it's not real mozzarella because it doesn't taste of anything. It just kind of tastes like you're chewing rubber with no flavor. I feel like I've mentioned this in a video before that I miss cheese. Another cheese I miss is Parmesan. Feta cheese is another one. I just miss cheese options. I don't remember the last time I ate a raw cucumber. I'm pretty sure it was like back in fucking June or July when those little harmonies with their mini markets on the side of the street were out. But nowadays, they're nowhere to be found. I don't know where I can find just baskets full of cucumbers for 3,000 won. The problem is also with those harmony baskets is that they fill them up with like seven cucumbers. I don't know who can eat that many cucumbers and like the amount of time that they're ripe without going bad but I'm not part of that squad I cannot eat that many cucumbers in that short amount of time another thing I kind of miss is cheap wine for food actually I just miss Italian food actually I just miss making Italian food because I always made my own twist on it my own spin on it but to make my Italian food I need Swiss cheese vegetables and wine and pasta and all of those four things are really cheap uh, expensive here Expensive. A thing that I found recently that I missed, that I didn't notice I missed it until somebody pointed it out, was I miss having an oven. I really miss having vegetarian options in restaurants. Not even because I want to be vegetarian or I want to be vegetarian that day, but I just miss having the option to be vegetarian. A lot of the times you'll go to a restaurant, everything has meat in it. Absolutely everything. And in Switzerland, in every single menu, there should be at least three or five items that don't contain meat. have too much to say about weather except for like two things in summer I really miss well Swiss weather because it didn't get as fucking hot as Daegu Daegu fucking kills you in the summer I don't even know anybody who says otherwise Daegu is gross in summer it's humid it's hot it's like it's unbearable it's unbearable and the thing is even if it rains, it doesn't cool down. It just stays hot, but now it's humid and it's raining. The temperatures don't go lower at night. They just stay hot and humid and hot and it's just dark. My European brain is very confused. Regarding my friends, I really miss hanging out on Sundays, going to their like dance rehearsals every Sunday. I miss that. I never went every single Sunday, but like the Sundays I kind of wanted to see them. I would go and join them and I really miss that or just randomly helping out on video shoots I miss that I miss that a lot I miss having random lunch dates with friends whether it be going to Starbucks together or actively going to a restaurant and eating together and I miss random dinner dates as well I don't know like I never took them for granted obviously but I had so many things going on in my own head that I wasn't able to focus all of my time love and energy into the people that I actually you know want to spend my time love and energy into and now I don't really have that option anymore, and I'm kind of like, well, damn. Another category is local. So for local, I miss Lake Zurich. 
I just kind of miss seeing Lake Zurich. I never really went swimming in it or rented a boat and like drove on it or anything, but I miss the option of being able to take off my shoes and put my feet in a body of water. Because in Korea, they're always surrounded by a fence. I've not found a single source of water where you can just put your feet in it without somebody yelling at you, hey, don't do that. I miss a specific Vietnamese restaurant. It's called Ko Chin Chin, and it's probably the best Vietnamese food I've ever had, and I miss it a lot. I miss the spring roll salad. I never know what it's called. I call it spring roll salad. I'll put the real name somewhere on the screen. While Korea is super great with having convenience stores everywhere, Switzerland is great with having supermarkets everywhere. Cheap supermarkets everywhere. I miss supermarkets. In Korea, it's cheaper to go to a restaurant than to go to the supermarket. That is boggling my mind. I miss cooking. I miss making my own food. And the very last thing that I miss from Switzerland is the category of animals. And in the category of animals, it's mainly cats. I fucking miss cats. Random cats that will run up to you and purr when you pet them. Here in Korea, if I see a stray cat or like a cat just on the street, one, it's probably homeless, two, it's probably kind of ill looking, and three, even if I try to go near it to pet it, if I make any kind of noise, that cat is gonna run away terrified. And I'm just wondering what on earth people have done to these poor cats that they're so wild and feral and scared. Why are you so scared of people? I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to feed you and pet you and like <laughs> give you some love. Because clearly nobody else is. Makes me sad. I just miss having a fat cat run up to you, purr and like, do the thing around your leg. You're waiting for the family category, aren't you? Of course I miss my family, but the thing is, even when I was in Switzerland, I didn't see my family all that much. I saw my grandma maybe once every two months or once every month, and my mom I saw whenever she came from Spain to Switzerland, which was maybe three times a year, so. Like, of course I miss them, but like, you know, I saw my friends a lot more than I did see my my mom or my grandma. So those are all the things that I missed after five months of being away from Switzerland. Let me know if you have anything that you're missing from home, if you are away from home, or let me know what you think you would be missing if you did go away. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can stick around till when I make a new one. I hope you drink lots of water, get lots of sleep, and this is the end. Bye.